I'm cutting off my forehead. Like completely, but that's okay because I have a pretty big forehead. Since I posted a video, it's quite a long time. I don't think YouTubers are supposed to do that. So I'm a flop. My first video is going to be a haul of sorts. I want to say it's beauty related. Yeah, well maybe, kinda. Beauty and some other little things sprinkled in. Um, because I just recently got back from Dallas, Texas. Uh, I went with my best friend to our first K-pop concert and it was incredible. We went and saw EXO and I can go on for days about all the things I loved about it and all the things I didn't like about it, which there was really only one thing I didn't like about it and that was the fact that Kai wasn't there. But I don't want to talk about it because I'm upset. That's my bias. Okay, it's unfair. I know it's so, moral story is we went to Dallas and we did quite a bit of shopping, maybe a little uh, too much shopping. Um, I'm gonna start with the first store we went to, which is the face shop. The first thing I got, let me tell you a little bit about my skin. Since the beginning of time, uh, for as long as I've been putting on makeup and trying to care about my skin, uh, I have had oily, acne prone skin. I tend to break out a lot on my chin. And I used to have a really bad problem with makeup staying on. Uh, like around my T-zone, all my makeup would just melt off my face and it was not a good look. It was not cute. Um, so I bought things that help with those problems, right? So the first thing I got was this Jeju Volcanic Lava Pore Mud Mask. Okay, it says pore mask with Jeju Volcanic Ash effectively absorbs sebum and helps reduce the appearance of pores. Because one thing I've noticed recently is that I can see my pores and that's not a thing that people want. It's really just on my nose. It's a little, I can see a little bit on my forehead. It also just sounds cool. Like vol volcanic lava, I'm gonna put lava on my face. Like that sounds great, let me just burn my whole face off. That'll solve all my problems. It says, after washing face, apply an adequate amount over the face, avoiding eye and mouth area. Leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse off with lukewarm water. So you open it, it has a little lid on the inside. Ooh, ooh. You lift it up, it's like a mousse kind of consistency. I don't want to say that it smells bad, but it doesn't smell good. I don't know, the smell doesn't bother me. Like, I don't know, when things smell, people are just like, oh my god, I'm not gonna, I can't use it if it smells bad. I'm just like, I really don't give a fuck. Like, yeah, it smells disgusting, but I'm only gonna have it on my face for like 10 minutes and I'm gonna wash it off and then I'm gonna forget about it. Who knows? After I try these products, maybe I'll report back and tell you if it did work, how it feels, how it works. And, um, yeah. The next thing I got was sheet masks. Because everybody talks about sheet masks. The first one is called a Clean Face Sebum Control Soothing Mask Sheet. And it says this new and improved green tea treats oily or problem skin more quickly and effectively. And what you're supposed to do is wash your face, apply a toner, put on the mask, and remove after 15 to 20 minutes. And you're supposed to lightly tap on your skin to absorb the remaining like residue on your face into your skin. You're not supposed to wipe it off. So I got this one, of course, because it says sebum control, and I am an oily person, uh, and I felt like that could help. So I got that. And then I also got this one because it's so cute. I should have got more because they're freaking adorable. They had so many animals. It's a character mask. This one I got is a little puppy. And it says, the brightening character mask makes the dull skin look bright and matte with cottonseed extract. So the word matte, I was sold. Anything that says matte, I buy it. So um, you're supposed to do the same as you do with the other one. Just leave it on for a couple minutes and then all the leftover stuff on your face, you just pat it in. And in the meantime, you look like a cute little puppy. And then when I got to the counter, the girl that checked us out, she was like, oh, you have oily skin? And I was like, yeah, girl, I'm an oil slick. And she was like, oh, let me give you some free samples, which I guess is a thing with Korean beauty products. You always get free samples, which I am so down for. I am here for it. Anything free? I'll take it. Uh, and she gave me two chia seed products. This one is a fresh cleansing foam mousse. Um, it doesn't say any directions on it. It doesn't say what it does. But she gave me these two. And then this other chia seed sebum control moisture cream. 
This one says, apply morning and or evening on freshly cleansed skin using fingertips for better absorption. So I'll probably use one at night, one in the morning, just moisturize before I go to bed, before I put my makeup on. But yeah, these I'm guessing are both supposed to control oil, so that was very nice. So my camera overheated and I had to wait for it to cool down. So in the meantime, I went to the dentist and I got a filling. So if this side of my mouth looks like it's not moving, just know that this whole side of my face is numb. Okay, so the next place we went was Ulta. One of the things that I was really looking for was the Maybelline Master Precise Eye Studio Liquid Eyeliner. This is my holy grail eyeliner. I've tried so many drugstore ones. I haven't tried non-drugstore ones, so who knows, I could find a new holy grail product. But this is my favorite. It's the only one that I can get these wings on fleek with, is this. And it's always sold out around me. It's never at my Walmart, it's never at my Kmart. And I mean, granted, those are the only two places that I have to shop here in my little tiny town. But I mean, in neighboring towns, it's not at their Walmarts, it's not at their Targets, it's not at nothing. I can never find it. So I picked this up and I picked a backup up so that when I run out, I still have this because this is, I need this in my life. Okay, but the main thing that I went looking for was the new NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. I watched a girl swatch every single color and I'm obsessed with the color range. It's beautiful. There's four different shades that I wanted. I think they're Embellishment, Beauty Mark, Teddy, and Honeymoon, I think. Those are the four that I was, those are the colors I like the best and I wanted. And we went to their first Ulta in Dallas, sold out. All of them sold out, gone. We went to this one, almost every single one of them was sold out, but I found this one. It's the shade Honeymoon. Oh my God. Like, I love it, and it looks so pretty on. I'll insert a clip of me wearing it, but oh god, these are just like the prettiest colors. I think they really complement my pale skin, and oh my god. What's weird is the applicator. It's not really like a traditional doe foot where it's kind of like at a slant, it's just flat, so I find that, I don't know, it's a little weird to put on. But it doesn't take long for these to dry at all. They dry pretty much for the most part matte. I think, I mean, I've tried this before. I said that I haven't tried a lot of the products that I bought, but this is one of the things that I've tried already because I was just, I was so obsessed. And um, I mean, it dries pretty matte. There was a little bit of stickiness like in the middle, but I think it's something that's gonna bother me. I just put like a translucent powder over it and then the whole thing was matte. And a lot of people said these are over drying, but I didn't get that with this. Like <laughs> it didn't over dry my lips out. I don't know if it's because I moisturize like a freak with eye chapstick and stuff, but no, I absolutely love this and I can't wait to get all the other shades that I want because I think it's Beauty Mark that's kind of like a like a true brown color that I can't wait to try it. And I think, I don't know, one of them was kind of like a dustyish kind of pinkish color. I don't know, just I'm obsessed and I need to buy up all of them. And then, okay, oh my God, I was so excited to find this. Every time I go to an Ulta, Anytime I go to a town that has an Ulta, I look for this one product. It's the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen. And you've probably seen this on Instagram and just anywhere that people post beauty things because this color is beautiful, okay? It looks beautiful on all the swatches that I've seen and all the lips that I've seen them on. And I have been looking for it everywhere. And everywhere I go that sells NYX and sells the Soft Matte Lip Creams, Copenhagen's always sold out. Everywhere. I can go across the country and every single altar that I stop at does not have this. And so when I found this, it was the last one. It was the last one. It was fate. This was supposed to be in my hands on that day and I bought it without hesitation. Yeah, super excited about this. I also got the Porefessional Primer by Benefit. I just got the little trial box that you get like in, when you're checking out in the, that little area because, I don't know, I needed a new primer but I also didn't want to spend that much money on one because I'm cheap. <laughs> like I'm real cheap uh, so I just got the little tiny baby trial bottle and I have used this I love the formula of this it's so silky smooth and soft when you start putting it on your face I only put it on my t-zone but oh my god it just feels so good it's so soft it's like I'm rubbing a cashmere sweater on my face like I I love it I love this 
So I picked up that as well. Okay, the next place we went, we went to the mall and I went to Lush and oh my God, I haven't been to a Lush since like August of last year because there's not one near me. Oh my God, this, this whole bag just smells so good. It makes my whole room smell amazing because Lush stuff smells so good. I got, um, I think just all bath products because <laughs> that's really all I wanted because I have a bathtub but I haven't had bath bombs since August of last year <laughs> because I haven't gone. Okay, I had, let's see, the first one, I think this one's the yoga one. Yeah, it's the yoga bath bomb. <gasps> oh my God. Let's see, yoga bomb. Inhale the deep relaxing scents of sandalwood, olibanum, and whole wood oils, whole wood. You put this in your bath, you're gonna become a hoe. <laughs> whole wood oils and take a journey of the self. Oh God. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay, the next one I got. Oh, this one's pretty. It's the Guardian of the Forest. Look at this color. Oh my goodness. It just looks like a bunch of like tree vines. Like that's what it looks like. Oh my God. Prickly on the senses at first, the calming cypress and mystical oak moss absolute will embrace you, drawing you into the bright sunlit heart of this woodland balm. Oh my goodness. It's packed with its very own forest protector, substa sustainably sourced and seriously intoxicating rosewood oil. That was a mouthful, but... Mm. Okay, the next thing I got was... Oh shit. The Experimenter. This one, look at it. Whoa, whoa, it's just like this hexagon. Is that hexagon? Yeah, that's six eyes. And oh, it's just so many colors. This one is gonna be a trip in the bath. Whew. Let me tell you. And I mean, a lot of people are like, it's not about what it looks like. It's about what it does for your skin. And I'm just like, dude, fuck off. I like things that are visually stimulating. I get stimulation from watching this thing dissolve and turn my bath 87 different colors. Okay. This bathing blockbuster starts vivid swirling colors to enthrall your senses. Crackling popping candy. Pop rocks in this. And the sweet comforting fragrances of fair trade vanilla and Tonka absolutes. I forgot that there's pop rocks in this. Oh my God. I am so excited. This smells so good. Oh, this is probably gonna be the first one I use. Okay, the last thing I got was the Yuzu and Coco Bubbler. This is a bubble bar, so you're supposed to crumble it and it's gonna make your bathtub frothy. And, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can just like get high off this. By the unusual Japanese Yuzu fruit. That's a fruit? There's a fruit called Yuzu. Holy shit. It's kinda like a Satsuma orange. What the hell is a Satsuma orange? I'm American. Oh, Yuzu and Coco has a delectable orange chocolate fragrance with exotic tropical undertones and an uplifting grapefruit note. It makes mountains of fluffy white bubbles in the most sublimely soft bath water you've ever had. With an ex extra creamy center and fair trade shea butter, this one is the creme de la creme of chocolatey moisturizing and soothing baths. Whoa! Um, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna move on to Tony Moly. So. The first thing that I got is this hand milk because I needed a hand lotion to put in my purse. I got two of them though because I'm obsessed. Uh, this is the banana hand milk. I mean, I got this because it smells so good. I love the scent of banana and I just love bananas in general. Oh my God, it smells so good. It's helping to bring my hands back from the grave and also make them smell delicious. And then I got, I can't, I can't remember what, how much all this stuff was. I wanna say this little thing is like $9. Like that's insane, that's, that's expensive for this little tiny thing. And I think this was the same price. And I got this because it's so cute, it's a peach. How cute is that? And this is also a hand cream. I haven't tried this one yet, but it smells so good. I don't know what the sticker says because it's in Korean. <laughs> but oh my God, I love it. You just open it and it has this little plasticky bit you take off and ooh. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love the smell of peach. That other banana one is like a squeezy tube. 
this one you have to like dip your hands in. I also got this because um, this guy had given me the nickname of Peach because I'm blonde and I like to play Mario Kart and Super Smash Brothers and stuff. And so he called he calls me Princess Peach and then he eventually just shortened it to Peach and that's like probably my favorite nickname because who wouldn't want to be Princess Peach first of all and I just I like peaches they taste good they look cute they smell amazing and so just anything peach I'm like I gotta have it because that's me I have a peach now I just gotta work out get this body and his booty to look like a peach and then I'll be a true peach <laughs> and then uh, I haven't used this either but it's the pocket bunny sleek mist and basically what this is is basically supposed to be like a, what are those things called? Blotting sheets? Oil blotting sheets? It's supposed to be like that, but in a mist. So, you don't gotta fumble with all those loose little thin ass sheets where you pull one out, 87 come out, and you waste all of them. Like, I have a love-hate relationship. So cute, it's a little bunny! Oh my god, Tony Moly is just doing it right! You just pull it off, it's got the little pump here and oh my god I just I love it I'm obsessed Ugh. and the next thing I got these are bunny gloss bars look at this look at his little face they had quite a bit of colors I want to say maybe like six different colors or eight different colors and I swatched this in there it comes out it looks kind of like a yellowish greenish color but when you swatch it it really doesn't look like that it's kind of like a light pink very glossy, shiny, like I can't wait to use it. It looks very moisturizing and I just, I should get all of them. And mm, the last thing that I paid for was this blackhead remover three pack thing, which is so cute. It has little strawberries with faces on it. Y'all, I've been going through it, trying to film this fucking video. First, Okay, it overheats, so I had to let that cool down. I went to the dentist in the meantime. Then I came back, I filmed again, and my battery exhausted. And so I had to wait for it to charge. In the meantime, I was sitting there eating chips. So if I got chips on my mouth, or my lipstick's gone, just bear with me, because I've tried to film this video three times. <clears throat> so, before I left off, I was talking about this Tony Moly blackhead three-step pack thing. I thought this was cute and interesting because there's three steps. Thinking from the pictures, step one just kind of like opens out your shit up. Step two takes the blackheads out and step three is just supposed to like soothe that area after you rip the shit out of it. So excited to try that. Okay, earlier I said that I have oily skin and acne prone skin and that's what I've thought I had my whole life, okay? When we were in Tony Moly, I was checking out, I bought all this shit, <laughs> okay? I bought this bunny mist thing to help with my oily skin. And the lady at the checkout, she was like, oh, you have dry skin. And I was like, bitch, what? And she was like, one moment, let me go get you a, um, let me go get you a little free sample thing or whatever. And I was just like, girl, what do you mean? What do you mean dry skin? Okay, I look like I took a bath in bacon grease. What are you talking about? And she was like, no, you have dry skin. And I was like, okay. And so she, she brought me back a free mask. It's not even like a sample. It's just like a legitimate mask that she grabbed off the counter and gave me for free, I guess, because I spent so much freaking money. But it's the Tony Moly, <clears throat> the Tony Moly Pureness 100 Placenta Mask Sheet. I'm putting placenta on my face. You just do it like any other mask sheet. You put it on for like 15, 20 minutes and you take it off and you massage the stuff into your face. Which lady done ruined my whole life because now I'm like questioning, do I have my skin story backwards? Like did my skin change? And I just don't know anything about skincare that I can't tell. But she was like, no, like you're pretty dry. So use this. I'm just like, and I was like, okay, girl, you tell me that now after I've done spent freaking 50 bucks at various stores for things to treat my oily skin. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I hope uh, I wasn't too out of focus. I hope the audio isn't too horrible. Um, 
and I hope you enjoyed. And I'll try to do more hauls. I don't know. I don't really buy a lot of things. I only tend to buy things when I go somewhere and I don't go places often. So we'll see what the future for this channel looks like. Hopefully there's not nine months between each video. Um, I'll try to be better. So um, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.